Hey guys, so I'm using the new YouTube capture. I just updated it pretty recently, so I'm trying it out now. But um, I just wanted to do a quick update for you guys, so I am still uploading videos. I noticed that you guys noticed that I am starting back up with my videos. Um, but I just want to give you an update on how I'm doing. So I, knock on wood, I don't want to jinx myself, but I have been pretty... Um, good on my working out I mean I do apologize if one it's loud because my bunny is drinking water right now and two the um image keeps moving and it's because I'm holding it up again but um anyway so working out has been pretty good I have uh last week I consistently worked out like two or three times actually um I went to a semi crossfit workout that my gym has started and then I had a workout with a trainer, and then I had two running days. One I did uh, just around a neighborhood, and I did go up and down like a couple of bridges. So I definitely, I will admit, I didn't make it through at least one of them, or at least up one of them. So um, that kind of sucks. But um, on day two was my trail run, which is, uh, there's a local trail that goes up, just completely uphill most of the way. And I'm going to attempt it again this week. Um, but I tried that and it was a really nice workout afterwards. I actually went to practice trying to jump a wall Which was really interesting as well because I Completely messed myself up last week like oh my gosh I was so bad and I'm so proud of myself that I still worked out this week because usually it would have been one of those excuse weeks like oh no I'm too bruised and battered like I literally I had two bruises on my right knee my left leg had two bruises. My arm has like, um, I don't know if I can show you this. That bruise right here. That's a bruise. So I have that. I have like, um, scratches all over here from the, um, wall trying to jump it. It's a six foot wall. I'm only 5'3". I don't have much upper body strength at all. Like, oh my gosh, it was just so hilarious. So me and my coworker who went, who took me there actually, we had the hardest time trying to do it. We we didn't make it, so we're still working on it. But yeah, so then this week so far, I've worked out twice. I went to what's called a matrix class, which is really cool. It uses, I think it's called TRX ropes, which is actually, um, it's like almost suspension. So you hook it up to a um, bar or something secure up on the roof and then it has two ropes that dangle down and you can do um, push-ups in different ways we did like a lot of uh, strength so we would hold ourselves up and then the more intermediate people would do push-ups while they're holding themselves up or they would do um like we did the leg not leg raises kind of like a um, leg workouts on it basically but it's a really an amazing workout. I loved it. It definitely works out stuff that you don't usually use because you're suspended half the time. Um, uh, it, you're very close to the ground, so if you fall, it's not. It, you're literally as as far up the ground as you choose to be. So it's very not scary or anything like that. It's not like the um. I know there's that one kind of like scarf workout or something like that. I don't know what it, those are called, but it's nothing like that. So I tried that one out, and then today I had another workout with a trainer, so which is really cool. Um, so I've been keeping that up, and on average, my workouts will burn six to seven hundred calories. I don't usually go any less than that, which is great. I still have this lovely double chin kind of thing, which is something I really want to get rid of, definitely. But um, I <laughs> I haven't weighed myself in a long time because I'm like dreading to see where I'm at. The trainer guy, they do like these assess assessments for everybody that doesn't cost any money and they'll just basically give you your uh, body's fat percentage and everything like that. So I did that and I'm not at a, an amazingly healthy level. Um, so that's something I definitely am working on. But yeah, other than that, I am having what's funny. I worked out today and I kind of like I've had I have these things where I don't eat. For a really long time and then when I do finally get to eat I eat way too much like I did this the other day where I didn't really eat all day I had little snacks and stuff like that and it's only because I don't I'm not preparing myself well so at the end of the night we ended up going out to eat 
and I had like, what is it? I had, a, thankfully it was like a small bowl of rice and uh, chasu pork, which is like a fattier pork though. And then I had cold soba noodles on the side. And then other after that, I was like, dang, I'm craving something salty or sweet. So I got these rice cracker cakes, that the Japanese style ones. And um, I seriously ate like six of those. It was so crazy. And I can't really even show you. They're not, they're pretty big. They're like this big. So I had six of that afterwards. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like I just completely was like about to explode. And then today I was like thinking, I almost did the same thing, but I reached for, um, I have this, which is the Orville Redenbacher, but it's the Smart Pop. And this is like the low calorie one, basically. And I ate a good two thirds of it, but I was kind of like, at least it's popcorn and at least it's low calorie. Cause I know I'm the kind of person that, oops, <laughs> I'm the kind of person that I really always I want something a snack on. It's like, it's not even about being hungry, which is really bad, which is something that I'm trying to fix. But for the time being, the way I'm coping with it is by grabbing a snack that I know isn't horrible for me. So I did that. And then, my guilty. I had a Slurpee, which I don't often have. So I don't feel as bad, I guess. I have this. This is the first one this year so far, so you can see how much I have these, so. But it's definitely when it's hotter, when it's like you want something cold, I love those, I have to say. Um, I, thankfully, I don't th drink soda much. I mostly just stick to water. And I have to say, like, I'm gonna make a vi video on the protein that I make, but whatever the heck I am, I'm putting in that protein, it really carries over. Like, I was... I drank that protein today, this morning after my workout. Granted, I, my workout finished at like 12. So I drank that protein and I didn't have anything to... Actually, I had one meal today, technically. Because I wasn't hungry until like 4 or 5 in the evening. And by that time, you were already eating dinner. So I had my quinoa and rice mixture with... Um, there's a Asian dish that's a tomato and egg. Love it. Um... I do alter the recipe a little bit because I put either half to two thirds less of the amount of yolk to white. So I usually will do two egg yolks to four egg white. No, no, six egg whites. So two whole eggs and then four egg whites only. Or like today I did three and three because I accidentally broke the yolk. So I wasn't able to do what I usually do. I don't know what happened to my egg cracking techniques, but yeah. So, um, this video went on a lot longer than I expected, but I hope you guys like the update. I am actually gonna, I'm trying to get something that I can use to film in, on a daily basis. Oh, I got a manicure, by the way. Like my nails. <laughs> but, um, it's really hard because I have a Galaxy Note. That thing is huge, as you guys probably know. Everyone calls it a tablet. So, um, I'm trying to find some kind of car thing that I can use to prop up my phone, which is something, I, which is what I usually use to film with. So, when I get that, you guys will definitely know. Um, but other than that, have a great evening, guys. Mother's Day is this weekend, so happy Mother's Day to you guys. Unfortunately, my mom isn't here. She's in Taiwan, so I get to wish it to her over the phone. But for those of you guys who have your mom there, appreciate her. Childbirth is not fun. I don't know it yet, but I fear it already. So, bye.